there it's it goes. like, I'm getting tired of you pushing Hello, that happy button. happy campers. <laughs> yep, it's five-minute week here on the Spike ah. and Chris show. Spike. Chris. Show. Now. All right, Chris. Go ahead. I'm starting the five-minute timer. We're going to see how many other news <sighs> items right. got left. CW is uh, canceling Black Lightning after season four. And in related news, there was a season three of Black Lightning. Who knew? <laughs> I haven't watched that since the end of I haven't end watched it since, yeah, season one either. <clears throat> but uh, apparently they are doing a spinoff called Painkiller. I don't know who that is. I think it's one of the characters on the... One uh, of the kids? No, it's not one of the kids. It's one of the, one, of the te- one of the hoodlum friends of the girls that his power is he takes away other people's pain. Oh. Which is, I have no idea why that is a thing, but if they're smart, they will start working the Dakotaverse back into it. I don't know exactly how... Uh, how this is not turned into the Blood Syndicate show, I don't know yet, but that's what it should turn into. Although getting, the, uh, although getting the agreements in place would probably be a little... Well, not as bad as it used to be. I think they've... I think Warner finally settled with Dwayne McDuffie's estate and his widow and stuff, and they've made progress since then. So apparently, the return of Milestone is on underway. But that oh has, yeah, March. That has absolutely nothing to do with the Black Black Lightning ending with season four, and of course that's racist. But Black Lightning was one of those CW superhero shows that nobody talked about. But nobody gave sh- like uh, nobody talked bad about. Yeah, I'll say this: yeah, the, like, the first season was all right. It had its ups and downs. I, uh, if I have to deal with another token homosexual character again, though. But anyway, ooh, yeah, I said it. Now, guess what? I'm not the first one to say it, and I won't be the last. <laughs> They're gonna be hearing a lot of that in the next twelve months. But anyway, you can just see them start check, checking off the boxes and at the end of season one. It's like, okay, I'm pretty much done with this. So the fact that it managed to survive two seasons after that, I believe they started with 2.4 million viewers on season one, episode one, and they were down to about just under half a million with the last episode of season three. Oh. So, you've managed to lose roughly 80% of your audience. Yeah, I can't imagine why you're being yanked off the air. To be honest, I'm surprised they didn't get... They didn't just cancel them after season three, but I guess they're trying to give them a chance to wrap it up because Greg Berlanti makes, like, what, half the shows on CW right now? Sure. Sure. Eh. Anyway, what else you got? Got two minutes. All right, I'll fit this one here because it's a little smaller. I don't have much information on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, during summer, Black Panther Two will start filming, and no word yet on exactly how they're going to handle Chadwick's death. Who's going to fill the shoes? It's going to be his sister, or. They should just go ahead and acknowledge it on screen in the first five minutes and then make the whole movie about being a race between his sister and uh, Killmonger and uh, whoever Ape Guy is over who will take over Wakanda. I, can't, I swear I cannot think of his I think his name is White Ape. Winston. But I'm not sure. No, Winston was in the Ghostbusters. No, his name was Winston. Winston makes Winston tastes good like a cigarette. Show. That was the Flintstones. Maybe I'm just confused here. You're getting me confused. <laughs> um, so, mm, so we'll figure something out. A uh, six hundred pounds, seven foot tall, bronze Batman statue has been put up in Burbank, California. The idea behind this is to show, I should have wrote the quote down because they said it more better, but it's something about with darkness there's light, or some some type of light Mm. thing, but that's what the Batman statue is supposed to stand for, so yes, if you're in Burbank, California, 
See if you can find that bronze statue. I would like to see that. Yeah. Like to see. One thing's for sure. They did put do it, put it a lot more better than you did. <laughs> You're welcome. And well, jeez. <laughs> and, and how I tall was this statue? It's uh, seven foot. It weighs 600 pounds. You've been packing on some pounds then, has <laughs> I mean, I know that armor is getting heavier and heavier in every movie, but she was up to 600 pounds now. He's going to start walking through floors instead of... <laughs> That's really uh, awesome. You got anything else? I got one more news. He's got one more news. Right. Did you tell me? Uh, I paused it so you could get these all in, so you have a minute before the floor. <laughs> uh, the first Batman comic sold for $1.5 million at an auction. It is the most expensive comic sold at any auction anywhere. The one before that was another Batman comic called Dark Knight. Sold for one million back in 2010. Until somebody gets a hold, decides to sell their action comics number one and then they'll reset that is the true. other thing again. So that was just I don't even or know until, why I or until Amazing down. Fantasy fifteen winds up back on the block and that, I... that might blow. To be honest, out of all the collectible comic books, it's it's like Action Comics number one, Detective twenty seven, Amazing Fantasy fifteen, Batman one, Superman one, uh, Sensation Comics one. That's where Wonder Woman came from. Uh all-Star Comics, I think, which is where JSA came from. Somebody will correct me. And probably, probably an episode of Showcase, or an issue of Showcase, I can't remember which one. It was 55 at the first appearance of the Silver Age Flash. After the, and, of course, Fantastic Four, number one. But after that, things fall off pretty quickly. Those are the big name brand auction things. But It's nice stuff. Must be. Build it's a nice a problem to have. Feel the love for Batman. Yeah. Yeah. With four <laughs> seconds to go, we're going to go ahead and close this out. So, Chris, what do you got to say for yourself? I don't. Exactly. <laughs> and there's no excuse for me. Exactly. So, until next time, I'm Spike. And that was Chris. Chris. And this was the show. We'll see you all next time. Take care.